Hello, and welcome to my playthrough of Return to Night of the Zealot. Uh, we're going to be using uh, taboo rules for the decks. Um, this is um, because of a few failed recordings, as I'm still getting used to trying to record these. Uh, this is not my first run through of these decks. I've been, made a, a few improvements, um, but it's fun. It's been fun trying to uh, you know, adjust to the taboo rules. Um, I'm running Yorick and Ursula, so Yorick doesn't actually have uh, much of a difference with the taboo rules, but obviously with Ursula it does. I'm not able to take Milan, or you can take Milan, but he's uh, significantly nerfed. I don't really want to take him, and uh, I'm also building for more skill-heavy build because I won't be able to pump with higher ed later. Um, the reason uh, that I'm playing with uh, these two investigators is because uh, some friends of I, ours uh, gave us some uh, miniatures that, uh, based on Hero Forge, or created from Hero Forge, and uh, we painted them. This is my wife and I did this. This is the um, this is Ursula that my wife painted, yeah, and uh, Yorick that I painted. So uh, it's. These are the two miniatures that I have. I have a few more that we've bought since then, but uh, yeah, these were good to get started with. So uh, we're gonna be doing uh, Return to the Night of the Zealot. Uh, it's not a campaign I've run too many times, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop opening hands. So this is my opening hand for York. Uh, we are looking for a weapon. We do not have a weapon. So I'm actually gonna, just gonna toss absolutely everything here. And pick up. And go for five more cards. All right. Well, I wish we had those, uh, <laughs> wish we had those acts of desperations back because we got the enchanted blade. Um, we got a hiding spot, take the initiative, unexpected courage, vicious blow. That's gonna be our hand, so. Not too bad. I don't really have room here to uh, to show their hands or much of their items because I'm trying to get as much action as I can uh, on the board. So hopefully this format will work out. I'll try to show the cards as I uh, as I draw them. So trying to get all the relevant information, but this is new new format. I'm trying to do this streaming thing or uh, recording thing. So now I'm gonna draw up uh, Ursula's hand. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, she got field work, always welcome. May, uh, magnifying glass, we definitely want those. I think we don't care about these other, well, yeah, we don't really care about these other cards. I'm trying to get some good access, assets into play, so. Uh, it's not very uh, has, uh, asset heavy deck. Okay, well, this is not what I wanted. Um, because these two Etsleys are, uh, I, I'm intending to run, um, uh, I'm intending to run the, uh, those are supposed to be targets for Ellie. Uh, now Ellie has no targets, so that really is not a good thing for me. Uh, because I, I'm, I'm actually running the totem in her. So the only target left for, uh, for Ellie is the Chthonian Stone, which isn't terrible because it will stop us from picking up damage when we draw those uh, tablets, but yeah, we'll just have to see how it goes. We also have to uh, Mr. Rook in here. So this wasn't ideal for Ursula, but we'll probably go ahead and put down a tooth anyway. So, all right, so we are in the study. And we have two clues there. All right, so Ursula's gonna go first, I think. Um, I think we're going to spend, let's see. So we got a little too much in terms of resources, but we do want the mag glass down so that we're, well, what? Yeah, so that we're two up, so. Um, and I think we want the tooth down. So we'll put those two down. So we'll spend one to put the tooth down. Actually, the mag glass down, that's, that's fast. We're going to spend three to put down the tooth. Then we will uh, investigate committing deduction so that we will 
Hopefully grab both of these. So we are now at a 63. This is our second action. Negative three, we get two clues. So not too bad. And then we will move into the guest hall so that we can take advantage of our free investigate next turn. So we move into that guest hall. And that is the end. Ursula's turn. All right. And uh, we still have the tooth in the field work. Okay, uh, so Yorick will obviously spend three to put his enchanted blade into play. Get three charges. And now I wonder, I don't really have much else that I can do. I'm actually going to take the free action there. He's the lead investigator to draw three cards. Not free action, but uh, two actions to draw three cards. So we'll do that. Uh, we get to take the initiative. We get a hiding spot and step fast. So the hiding spots are tucked in for the final scenario, but they also are agility pips so we can evade if necessary. So we have a lot of uh, icons here in his hand, if you see a lot of icons, but not very many items, which is not really what you want with Yorick. Maybe I just didn't put too many items in this deck. But anyway, all right, so it's time for upkeep. So he draws a guard dog. So we have a guard dog. We get a resource, so we are at three resources. And Ursula is gonna get a Eureka, good. We can, we can uh, try to find things. Uh, and I'm gonna put one Doom. Let's draw some Ancient Evils, right? And here we go, we have a Grave Eater. All right, not too bad. And we have Dissonant Voices, we can't play our uh, field work, but it's fine. I think we're gonna go into the bedroom and investigate there. So I'm um, gonna have gonna go first. So she's gonna move in to the bedroom. She gets the free investigate. There are two, two clues in that location. She's gonna do the free investigate. She is at five V2. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and commit Eureka. I'm at six V2, just because I want to look for cards. All right, zero. Can I get a clue? Okay, and we get to draw three cards and pick one. So, aren't the ancients? Would be nice with field work, or we can have two field works in the play. Um, I think maybe we'll take the unearth the ancients to just save ourselves in actions. Or no, 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 we're not. We're gonna take the uh, we're gonna take the field work. Getting two field works in the play actually. It'll be super good for some of the high shell locations later on. So, yeah. All right, so that was our first action. I'm kind of nervous because I don't want to lose my field works. Yes, well, we're, we're at what? 5v2, three up to get this last clue. Well, I guess we could lose the field work if we uh, take the, the chance. There's only two tokens that would make us fail, right? I'd rather keep going. So, taking one action so far. we will be our second action. We're investigating. Up by three. Up by three, zero. Okay, got the clue. Third action. We'll move out. We are doing good. Um, so, York is just going, we don't, we're not in a rush, we're just gonna punch um, this Grave Eater. We will commit the Guard Dog to the test. So we are at 5v2. 
actually 6v2, because we can use the enchanted blade without uh, charging it. So yeah, 6v2. Tablet. We take a damage because of that ghoul. Right, our location. Okay, we are going to hit him again with the enchanted blade. Again, not 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 empowering it. Skull. He is number ghoul. He made his location negative one, so he is dead. And we'll use York's ability to put guard dog into play, and we will move into the guest hall. All right, so. We get Steadfast and Upkeep, and a resource. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Ursula gets Unearth the Ancients. Okay, that's nice enough. Just gonna check, check, make sure that I, yeah, okay. I had shuffled. Interesting that it came up anyway. Away. Did I get a resource? I don't think I did. Right. Did I? Is that right? Let's see, she has spent a total of. She started with five, and she spent four, which would have taken me down to one. And then we would have gotten one. Oh, this, somehow I did. Yeah. I did the wrong thing. Alright. All right, so now we are at two of three doom. And we draw a swarm of rats. Something that York can easily handle. And she gets the icy ghoul, it was in the cellar. Which now, in the return, you actually do just go ahead and spawn the cellar. Put in there. Which is good, victory points. We like to see victory points. All right, so Ursula can just keep on going, keep on trucking. So she is going to, oh, I don't have enough resources to do what I want to do. It's fine. Okay, uh, I will spend, I'll spend two to put field work into play. So we have a field work. That's our first action. Second action, she'll move into the, and there are two clues here. For a free action, we will investigate. We are at 5v1. Let's hope for no picture tokens. Because that will, what does that do? Lose all remaining actions in your turn. Okay, well, we don't do that. We get the clue. And we will go ahead and investigate again. I should have taught my field work, but I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> because we are up by a lot. Up by four. Okay. Okay, we lose the rest of our turn, but it doesn't matter. Because we still get blue. Alright. Yorick. Got these as this swarm of rats. My goodness, he's just got a handful of cards. <laughs> That's his cards. I'm gonna have to discard something. It's craziness. Alright. So we will uh, attack the rats with the uh, enchanted blade. Not empowering it up. 5v1. We have one, we have dead rats. So we're just gonna take resources since, you know, to pay for inevitably if we draw something. Okay, time for upkeep. We get a buried in deep. Could have buried this rat keep, I suppose. Um, and then we have to draw a card. I think we'll draw the hiding spot. That's like the least important thing we have to do right now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we have another hiding spot if we need to evade. Okay. Um, we get an unexpected courage. Oh, I should have taken a resource for York. And she gets a resource. We 
here at we agenda advances. It is how important is it? Let's see. This card's one card at random. I don't want York to take the horror, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and discard cards at random. If I lose the Buried in Deep, I'm gonna be upset. But And if I lose the other field work, I'm gonna be upset. But such is life. It's really the only card I really care about in York's hand is Buried in Deep. Keep dropping cards. Okay. He is going to lose step fast. That is fine. Please do not lose the field work here. To the best lead. Okay, easy game. All right, we put, uh, we did the doom. York grabs a grave leader, okay? And we got a rotting remains, okay. We are at the tooth. We are at 4v3. Let's go at 4v3, I guess. I kind of want to card draw, I guess. I'll commit an unexpected courage to this. So, 4, 5, 6, v3. The tooth will let us draw if we fail, if we pass. Nice one, okay. So, we pass the writing remains. Alright, so we're going to have, uh, Ursula's going to go first. She is going to move for her free investigate. She will spend one resource and play Unearth the Ancients. So we are going to be putting into play our field work. So we are at 5v2 with our intellect. So it doesn't really say, it's only saving us one resource to this, but it is saving us an action, which is the reason I'm doing this. So 5v2, we get 2, minus 2, okay, succeed. All right, and we will spend all our clues to advance. All right, so we are advancing this, and Choose an investigator. Chosen investigator immediately moves to the hole in the wall and reveals it. Okay. So we are going to put Colin Yorick in the hole in the wall. And he has to test willpower. Actually, well, actually. No, we'll make Ursula because she has no card to discard. So she can fail this test and it's just not a big deal. For each point that a Mr. Discard Ram card from his or her hand, yeah. There's no reason to make it a York. Okay. So cool. So she gets Skull. So she fails by one, but there's no cards for her to uh discard so she's fine all right uh so we flip over the hole in the wall it is our good friend the hallway i'm gonna put the attic and the cellar into play so we are in good shape there we have done so our, we moved once and that's it okay so now uh, i don't think we want to move into the attic well, maybe we do. Yeah, that's actually pretty easy to investigate, so we'll go there. Um, or it might be easy to investigate. So she will move into, or do we want to just draw cards? We only take one action, so yeah, we'll go into the attic. Okay, take one horror, it's our, it's the old style. And we've already used our free investigate, so we don't get to investigate. But we have one action left, so we will invest, and we gotta put the clues on there. So, our slow is gonna investigate. 
up by a million. Okay, talent. We don't get damage because there's no glory location, and we get the clue. And that is it for Ursula. All right, York, again, he's not particularly caring about going too fast. I wish I had some assets to play. Anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. Alright. Attacking the Grave Eater with the unpowered chain of blade. Minus two. Grave Eater takes the damage. We'll do it again. Actually. dead. And then York will move into the hallway, prepared to go after the icy ghoul next turn. Alright. It's time for upkeep. York gets Peter Sylvester. It's a good, uh, it'll be nice for soaking horror, although we have this guard dog to worry about. Alright, I'd rather have Peter though, I think, than the guard dog. Okay, we've got Ellie. Maybe she can get a Cthulhu instead of for us, if uh, there are enough resources to put uh, Ellie into play. But I'm not too worried about it right now. Alright, um, that's it. We are at 1 of 7 Doom. Okay, chill from below. 3 for each of you to start. 1. Okay. Well, we might as well. We will, uh, we're at three. I just realized we could have buried that Grave Eater. Buried it deep, but whatever. Um, we will, I think, commit, take the initiative and Peter to this. Yeah. So, uh, that is three willpower. We're at up by four. So we're committing Peter and take the initiative. Up by four to this. This is really just to get Peter into my discard. Nice one. Okay, we pass. Okay, and then Ursula gets. Corpse Naked Ghoul spawns in the bedroom. York, does he go back to kill that? He might. He might indeed. Okay. What does he say? Maybe we don't need to go back to get him. We can move, move, attack, and then he will attack us. Or we could just wait. We can take out the Icy Ghoul, and then we can take out the Corpse Movie Ghoul later. Oh, we don't really want to move in, though, because we'll take a damage from the Icy Ghoul. Hmm. Let's let Ursula do her thing first. Okay, so she's going to investigate. moves in, attacks, attacks. I think that's what we want to do. Yeah. Makes sense. Or we can just go in and kill a corpse and rule. But yeah, then we'll be yeah, not in a great place. Okay, so 
York moves in. Icy Ghoul comes on him. Cellar. After you enter the cellar. Oh, these are both the old style. We didn't get any any of the new fun things. So, two damage. Actually, I'm just going to put that on Guard Dog. Because I'm planning to replace him with Peter anyway. Uh, and there are lots of clues here. So we are now going to attack the Icy Ghoul at we're at four, we'll empower the blade for five sixty three. hit him with the unempowered blade and then let him kill guard dog I think I think that makes the most sense all right so we are hitting him at four five drop by two plus one all right so he's at three damage so that is everybody's turn right Yes. So the Icy Ghoul hits. He's going to do two damage and horror to my guard dog, which kills the guard dog. The guard dog kills the Icy Ghoul, puts him in the victory display. And we spend three resources to put Peter Sylvester into play. The Corpse Hungry Ghoul hunts. And now we do a peek. York gets a meat cleaver. Perfect. That is perfect with, uh, with Peter being out. And a resource, so we can even pay the meat cleaver. Assuming nothing bad happens during the mythos phase. And Ellie has a plan. Or uh, Ursula has a plan. But not much resources to play her plan. To be fair. Okay. That's it. We are now at 2 of Summon Doom. We get a swarm of rats. And she gets uh, this. Test three. For each point you feel light of this card, a card at random from your hand. For each card you cannot discard, take one damage. We're up by one. That's probably okay. I don't really want to commit Ellie to it. I mean, I might lose her anyway, but whatever. Nice one. I pass the two. And so I get to exhaust the two and draw a card. Yes. So nice. Okay. All right. So Urs. So um. Yeah. So Ursula is going to move, move before she takes her free investigate action. She is going to tap a field work to go up by. So she's at five, six, seven, four to investigate. One. She gets a clue. Okay, and then uh, we're gonna tap field work for the second investigate, which we can do in case anybody didn't know this, because field work and a free investigate are both after triggers. You can church, you can pick the order, and so the order I'm picking is the first field work, and then her investigate, and the second field work. Uh, so this is her third action is to investigate with the second field work again up by three. Minus four, but it's not good enough, despite all my tricks. So, that is not good. We need some way to be doing better. All right, Yorick is going to hit the Swarm of Rats. We 
the unempowered blade, negative four. We were still at five. So we still kill the rats. Do we bury them deep? Sure, why not? So we're burying the rats deep. Okay, we're gonna spend three resources. Let's play the meat cleaver. And we're gonna be risky and draw a card. We get another enchanted blade. That's actually pretty good stuff. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, uh, so the corpse hungry ghoul moves. We get, okay, graveyard ghouls. That's less than ideal, actually. Let's get another Unearthly Three Ancients. We could put uh, Ellie Horowitz in the play, I suppose. Oh, did she take a damage? She did not take her damage when she came in, so we get that. Yeah. We get a resource. So. Did we get a resource already? Let's see. We had no resources. I think we already took our resource. I'm going to say that we already took our resource. Because I don't remember. Doom, and, oh my gosh, we're getting overwhelmed here in a pretty big way. Enemies, Ursula, is going to get Ancient Evils, which, all things considered, is not too bad right now, because we're getting overwhelmed by enemies, because that Corpse Hungry Ghoul is going to mess us up. I don't really have a way of evading the Corpse Hungry Ghoul as Ursula. Soak the damage and horror. We could probably heal the horror. Yeah, it's New York. Okay. <sighs> so Ursula is going to take a resource. We have three resources. First action. Second action is she will engage the acolyte of Umidoth. Then she will spend three resources. Play. I've got a plan using our intellect to attack. We will commit unearth the ancients. So that gets her at 6v3. Should be good enough. Alright, 6v3. Skull. There are two ghouls at our location, so we still win. So he is dead. Alright. So Yorick. I was gonna swing at his graveyard ghouls. Committing a vicious blow. We're gonna use the meat cleaver. We're gonna take a horror. And uh, to power up the meat cleaver. So we are at four, five, six, V3. We will commit the enchanted blade to be seven, V3. Oh no, that is terrible. Okay. Hmm. 
All right. Well, we are going to do it again. We're gonna put the horror on Peter this time, I think. Or do we just wanna preserve charges with? We're gonna get whacked. Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah. All right, we can use charge from the enchanted blade. So four, five, six. Sixty-three. This was okay. So this is our second action, actually. Yeah. Oh, actually, okay. So no, we don't want to use the enchanted blade. I will use the meat cleaver. We'll go at five B three. So this is only our second action. Because I have a plan. Zero. Okay. Uh, so he takes two damage. All right, and then we are swinging with the meat cleaver. We're not going to power it up. We're still at 5v3. Skull. This minus one. So the graveyard ghouls are dead. I don't think we have anything that we want to put into play here. That's fine. Okay. Um, before our turn ends, we're going to spend one to play Hiding Spots, which is attached to any location. Each non-hunt elite enemy at the attached location gains aloof. At the end of the enemy phase, the ready enemy is attached to the location to score a hiding spot. This is going to have an interesting effect. So this guy, so we got to here, gains aloof. Well, does he gain aloof? Oh, you know what? He's, it's not going to do me any good. But I can put it, okay, there is a way to avoid, a, there's a timing window during the, 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 um, yeah, so we actually play it, yeah, we'll play it here, but we're not going to do it yet, we're going to do it during the enemy phase. There is a timing window before things attack that you can do that. Okay, so end of our turn, Peter heals. He comes in here, we play hiding spot, which gives him to go aloof. This gets discarded at the end of the enemy phase, and then he engages us, but he does not attack us. So it's like a survivory kind of dodge. All right, Yorick is going to grab on the hunt. Nice, nice. Okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, Ursula is going to grab. Crack the case. Not too shabby. We're gonna be taking some damage, I think, but such is life. Okay. All right. Uh, mythos phase. Uh, do we want to on the hunt now? I don't think we do because our hands are gonna be kind of full. So the idea of on the hunt is to get more uh, victory point guys. But actually, Ursula could grab and evade somebody. Yeah, so we'll just take, take what we got. Okay, each investigator fails to discard two cards from his or her hand at random. All right, we will play take the initiative on this. So we're at three, four, five, six, B2. Minus one, so we pass. Ursula takes the damage and horror. How does she not have a resource? Did I not grab one when I got cracked the case? I guess I did not. All right, uh, and then Ursula is gonna draw. Same thing, wow, okay. Well now, he takes the damage and horror because he's less cards and she takes damage and horror. So we're actually in not great shape right now. Do we, do we get out an Ellie just so we have a soak? Okay, well the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna kill this corpse and Regal. Who, he does not have retaliate? Okay, so we're at four. Hmm. 
Okay. So we're at four. We will use the enchanted blade. Two up. Two up. Tablet. Oh my gosh, we're taking another damage. Okay. But at least he takes two damage. Um we are gonna hit him with the unempowered blade, which is well that's four five. Okay, we'll commit. No, we'll just use the empowered blade. So it's still two up. Minus four, okay. We will you take a horror and use the meat cleaver, and we will commit steadfast, which gives us two. So we are at four or three up. Steadfast, I believe. Wait, steadfast. I have remaining health is five, four, nine. Yeah. So yeah, it gives us two fights. So we're at four, five. So we're up by three. Zero. All right. Corpse Hungry Ghoul is dead. Goes in the victory display. And we heal horror. We heal horror off of Peter. Oof. Alright. Alright. So. We're just going to sit here and investigate. I think. We can get cards to try to find stuff to help us investigate. Right. And then we get. One resource, yeah, so we can play Ellie next turn. Okay, so she'll draw a card. She gets crack the case. All right, she will investigate committing crack the case. So she's up by two. take a resource so that you can pay for Ellie next turn. Alright, Yorick gets internal injury. Not too bad. Ursula and a resource gets Eureka. Okay, that's nice. And a resource. We are at six of seven doom. No ancient evils, please. Ancient evils, okay. Not really what I wanted, but whatever. So the Rise of the Ghouls is gonna be shuffled the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck, discard until you ghoul and you discard it. Discard some ancient evils. Find remains, flesh eater. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, actually, wait. He is a ghoul. Okay, so he does need to go in the attic, or whatever. It's fine. Yeah, flesh eater goes in the attic. I have to reshuffle these because I drew through too many. Alright, cool. That means I actually can clear my internal injury. That's nice. And he actually, he'll move to the center for us. So, that actually is going to work out pretty nice. Yeah. All right. And then York draws a swarm of rats. You can handle that. And we got another ancient evils. Goodness. Ancient evils. Okay. 
All right, so Ursula, first action, has been to three to play Ellie Horowitz. So we're gonna draw nine cards, look for a relic asset, which there's only one in here, but mainly there's one for the silk. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to put the Chthonian Stone. There is none. Alright, so, such is life. Okay, second action. We will investigate committing Eureka to be two up. Zero. Nice. Okay. She gets a that and we get to filter draw three cards and pick one. Oh, there's our Cthonian stone. Well, I don't think we want it. We'll take the manual dexterity. Good for turning off the ghoul priest eventually. So first action is Ellie, second action is to investigate. Third action, we will let's see. You know what? I think he has an unexpected courage. We'll just commit the unexpected courage. Yeah. Let's see for investigate. case and she will take three of those four resources that we get from the shroud and York will get one okay excellent and that is her turn okay Yorick is going to Black Storm Rats with his unempowered meat cleaver. Skull to zero. Storm Rats are dead. And he will spend three resources to put Enchanted Blade into play. And three charges on it. discard internal injury. Oh, and we could heal the horror from killing the rats. All right. The flesh eater moves here at the end of the enemy phase because of the, the on the, the uh, force ability on the agenda. York draws another meat cleaver and a resource. Ursula gets a deduction, which is totally useless. Wait, did we get this clue? We did, right? Yeah, because that's how we played the, yeah. Okay, um, and another resource. So she's flush. I don't know what she's gonna play with all that. All right, so we are now going to, uh, we, oh, we put one for this flesh eater and then we have to, another doom so that's getting a little bit sketchy now we get a grave eater on him okay so we're gonna have to kill him move in and kill a flesh eater that's a lot to do and then ellie or not ellie um, ursula is gonna get her phobia at the end of take one direct horror all that kind of messes up what my plans were.
York, I suppose, is going to kill the Grave Eater, taking a horror on Peter, empowering the Meat Cleaver. Okay, Grave Eater's dead. Flesh Eater will come on to us, and we will evade him in 4v1. Okay. Oh, wow. That could have gone better. Could have gone a lot better. So, yeah, she is going to get rid of this and move into the hallway. Do we spend our clues this turn? Well, we get to draw and everything. So, okay, we take the two horror from this guy. Well, first of all, we heal the hero from horror. Peter. We get a horror, a horror, and damage. So, okay, he gets an emergency cash, which he doesn't need. Seriously wondering if I even need emergency caches in this main dexterity. All right, well, we can evade Michael Dickens. All right, so we got an extra horror. Wait, so we're gonna be at one, two. The thing is, I don't know that I can pass the parlay check. One, two, we'll be at five of 10. I think we don't spend them this turn and we just do it next turn. Yeah, I think that's what we do. Okay, um, so we don't spend. So we get a horror, uh, doom from him and then a doom for normal. That's three for you, plus the card. One random card from your hand. We'll commit the meat cleaver to this. Actually, I was going to play on the hunt. I forgot. Oh, whatever. So we are at three, four. Three, three. Actually, she'll commit guts to this. So that's that's sixty-three. Yes, okay. So that was more for Ellie to get the card or for Ursula to get the card draw. Inquiring in mind. Completely useless card. Alright. And then she draws a swarm of rats, okay. So, we got to kill this flesh eater. Alright, so we will take a horror, do two damage. With actually we'll take one swipe with the enchanted blade. No, we're not. We will take a horror. We go to four, five, a four. Oh man. Okay, yeah, I guess we are gonna use the enchanted blade. So that's six v four for the flesh eater. Or Elder Sign, you can get a card back. Okay, 
So we did two damage to him. And we'll just pull back steadfast, which will give us two fight on that guy. So if we use that, if we use this, yeah, we'll take it steadfast, we'll commit that. We need cleaver, so we are at four, five, six, seven, B4. We'll commit on the hunt to be eight B4. Nice one. Okay, he goes into the victory display. Lots of stuff in the victory display. And we heal horror. And for our last action, we will swing at the rats with our unempowered meat cleaver. So 5v1. And then, yeah. Now what? There are no ghouls here, so we're okay. Kills the rats. And heals horror. Okay. It's actually not a bad situation. Then. Ursula is just going to draw a card. Stone and stone. Also, intellect you know, like pits are good. She's going to draw a card. I've got a plan. Also good. And if we want to use, I got a plan. I'm going to draw one more card. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. There's a totem, which would be nice to have in play. I don't think we're going to have a chance to use it. All right, we got a card, card dog, we can commit that, and a resource. She gets a card of mag glass, and a resource that she can commit. All right, we are at six of 10 doom. Oh wait, before we go there, <clears throat> we will spend our clues. Spending our clues. And uh, that advance this. So we're going to put Lita Chandler into play. We're going to remove the bio and yeah. Do all that good stuff. So the father comes into play. We put the Wolf Priest here, he comes in with us because we've got the highest fight. And Lita Chandler comes in here. Right. And now we draw some cards. Now we, yeah, we're about six of ten doom. Okay. And he takes damage and a horror on him. All right. I'd say we cleared up Peter, but he gets another horror back. It's fine. Okay, Zealot's seal is... And then she will need to test. We don't really care about most of these cards. Ten, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so she's at 4v2. I don't want to lose, I've got a plan, but it may not matter actually. Skull is minus one, so we tap tooth. Get to draw a card, which is Ellie. Not particularly useful. Alright, so first action is Ursula moves in. She's going to par away with. Lita Chandler. She's gonna throw in some mag glass and a deduction. Let's go up. Actually, we'll just say four, four, five, six. Yeah, that'll get put us up by two. Up by two. That's good. Let's 
two, minus one, okay. So that was one, two, kicks out Ellie. Goodbye, Ellie. And three, we move back in here. We're just gonna make Yorick super powered, because, um, so he will take a shot, the enchanted blade, at four, five, six, and then seven, with the help of Lita. can't actually kill him this turn. I wonder. Yeah, it actually makes sense to go ahead and do the evade. I should have done that. So we will evade at four. And come on, manual dexterity. So up by two. Just evade. Try to evade again. That is minus one. I should go more. Okay, so he is evaded. Let me do upkeep. Get on the hunt. Resource Ursula gets Zurich, not useful at all. Well, I can have a little which might come in. Handy. All right, so we uh, get one for the gold priest and then one for the so we are eight of ten. Dissonant voices, okay. Well, we weren't planning on playing asset servants anyway, and hopefully, she doesn't get something terrible. Okay, for each. Point. Three for each point you can I mean, I don't really care, but I don't want to lose. Yeah, I've got a plan. So we are at 4v3. We'll commit Mr. Rook to be 5v3. I could commit LE2, but if we do fail, I want her to be a single card with a throw away to not miss the I've got a plan. Okay, skull is minus one, so we pass, we can, we'll, come, we'll tap the tooth, and we get a shortcut, which I don't really know what that would do for us. Actually, we could use it to shortcut the full priest back into, like, the guest hall or something. All right, so that we don't generate more doom next turn. Um, okay, so if we take a damage, two, four, we can take one hit by him or rather retaliate. So, um, we will use the Enchanted Blade, committing Guard Dog. That should put us at four, five, six, seven. Eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight. one okay so that is three more damage so it's now at six okay the meat cleaver is only I don't think we're gonna try do you have anything to evade yeah we'll go ahead and evade well no all right, yeah, we'll just do the meat cleaver. This is actually getting dicey because I've got to land one hit and the meat cleaver only puts me up by one. Oh, whatever, okay, meat cleaver, empowering it. Oh wait, no, it puts me up by two. So it's four, five, and I grab all of and then on the hunt. Actually, we can put this horror on Peter. Why not? All right. So we are at four, five, six, seven, four. Seven before. 
Alright, plus one. Okay, so he takes three more damage. And we gotta hit him one more time. So we will hit with the meat cleaver. We are up by two. Dead ghoul priest goes into the victory display.